Hey guys, I just thought I would do a quick video. I've seen a lot of comments on the YouTube channel asking for details about the Armed Fights Unleashed tour that's coming up the East Coast tour in the USA. Um, it is, of course, hey Eliza, how you doing? It's my little girl Eliza, if you can see her. Here she is, anyway. East Coast tour is happening, uh, it's coming up very soon. The first event is gonna be taking place on um, Thanksgiving Eve. Okay, it's gonna be in West Virginia. All the details very specifically can be found on the Facebook page. So if you haven't already, go and follow the Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling Facebook page and you'll be able to see all the specific events. But summary, summing it up, we've got the 21st of November in West Virginia. That's where you got Paul against Paul, that being Paul Talbot against uh, Paul Lynn left and right. It's gonna be amazing. Um, then 24th of November, we're heading to New York. Okay, in New York, we are going to have big Travis Bajan up against Saving Badalescu from Romania. Um, so that's going to be the headliner there. Of course, we're going to have the tournament below that, which I'll explain very shortly. Um, after we're in New York, we've got a big drive. We're going all the way down to Alabama. We're going to see Justin Bishop against Alex Beziazikov. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Alex, I apologize if I'm not. But that's going to be the headline match there for a big tournament in Alabama. And then finally, we're going to be heading to Louisiana, Denham Springs in Louisiana, where I'll be taking on Daniel Mosier as the headline act there again with the tournament. So a lot of people asking about the tournaments. Here's the details of the tournament. So every single headline super match is just the feature that's just there for entertainment's sake. Okay, that's going to be filmed really professionally and we're going to try to create a story behind that. We're going to get a lot of interviews with the guys. We're going to get a lot of interviews pre and post um, their, their super match and really broadcast that we're going to try to make it look super high quality the tournaments below what they are there's a pro tournament class every tournament there's a 176 pound a 198 a 220 and a super heavyweight okay they're all going to have prizes uh, they're all going to have good quality prizes we're sorting all them out myself and uh, Travis are sorting them out um, plus we're going to have cash boxes we're going to have raffles we're gonna have the main event t-shirts that are gonna be, they're gonna be signed by the main event athletes and raffled off as well. But for the amateurs who wanna get involved, someone who's never been involved in arm wrestling before, if you wanna be in this and you don't wanna step straight to the pro class, then there is an open weight amateur division. Now to explain that, how that works, the open weight amateur division, okay, doesn't matter how many people turn up, we're gonna just weigh them all and they're gonna be put in the draw in the order of their weight. Now, there's only gonna be one winner of the amateurs, obviously, but if you make top four, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a prize. You are gonna get a medal and a certificate and all that good sort of stuff for making the top four. So making the top four effectively wins you means you win the quarter of your draw, which means lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight, super heavyweight, you're that champion amateur for that part of the draw. Now if a lot of people are worried that if they lose first round, they're out. Um, we're, we're a standard double elimination tournament. If you lose, you go into the B draw. So at worst, everyone gets two matches. Now, what we're gonna do is if you lose in the first round, okay, of this open weight amateur draw, you're going into another tournament. Okay, you're going into the consolation tournament. So everyone who loses in that first round of that single elimination open weight amateur draw will go into a second consolation draw and they'll start again. Okay, so we're gonna have a winner of the consolation and a winner of the amateur. So that's how it's gonna work. No one will get less than two matches in the amateur tournament, I assure you. That is my promise and prizes, top four. Prizes for the top four in the main part of the amateurs and prizes for the top four in the consolation draw as well. Okay, so you're gonna get prizes. We're gonna give you the recognition. Amateurs are a massive part of the sport, so we wanna make sure you guys have fun, you stay safe, and you're incredibly entertained by the pros and the main events. Now for the pros, um, a lot of people, a lot of people have messaged me asking how do I get on a main event card? I wanna be in the super matches, those t-shirts look amazing, all these cool stuff. If you didn't already know, the main event athletes are being paid. Um, so is everyone involved that's, that's actually helping put this together. Okay, things like referees, things like photographers, videographers, coordinators. Athletes, we're all, they're all being paid. John Brzezank for providing analysis coming up. Everyone's being paid. Now, the way that the money is being raised, and again, giving you guys complete transparency on the way that I'm running business, is that however much money is raised, we've allocated enough to cover the costs, and then we are very fairly distributing the commissions um, to everyone involved. So for instance, 35% of all revenue raised in this tour will be going to the main event athletes. 
divide it up in such a way that is the more marketing prowess they have, the more they're paid. So um, the more marketing you bring to the table, the more you pay. And here is my other little man, Bradley. Who are you dressed up as? <laughs> oh, Bradley's some superhero. <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Brad. Yeah, so the the athletes are being oh, Bradley, please don't, please don't do that, bud. The athletes are being paid, Bradley. Last chance, otherwise you'll be in trouble. All right, so the athletes are being paid. Um, we've got videographers being paid, photographers being paid, um, all sorts of people. Anyone who's contributing is being paid. And if you didn't see Artem Tanarenko's a video about lifting the standard of of uh, tournaments, then go and watch that because this is very much what we're trying to do here. So. The good news is, as this brand grows, everyone's commissions grow, um, and we all do well together. Now, for the guys entering into the pro tournament, if you want to get on one of these main event cards, you got to be in these pro tournaments, because not only are we doing an East Coast tour, we'll do a West Coast tour, we'll probably do a Midwest tour, and we'll be back on all of these things, we're going to come around again. So, if you want to end up on a main event card, what I need you to do is go through the pro tournament, win the pro tournament, or put on a show at least, show that you are there, you can dig in, you can fight, you can really give a lot of value. Because remembering that marketing is what we're doing here. As much as I love arm wrestlers, even the quiet ones who don't want to say anything, what we need to do is we need to build this brand, we need to tell stories about the arm wrestlers and get new fans to this sport. So we're aiming for fans, nothing short of fans. So put on a show in the pro tournament. That is your best way to get a ticket onto a main event card and become a pound for pound paid pro athlete. All right guys, hope you're well. Hopefully I answered all your questions there. Uh, if there are more questions, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But I'm gonna be in the US very soon. Uh, it's only uh, something like a week and a half or something crazy like that until um, we've got our first one in West Virginia. All right guys, I'll see you there.